Hey everyone, so I just want to do a quick review on um, Civil War. Uh, so basically, Captain America Civil War is the third film in the series, uh, the movie series. Um, and the storyline for that basically is um, about the whole anti-registration and pro-registration situation with um, Captain America and uh, Iron Man. Because Iron Man believed that um, after the events in um, Sokovia and whatnot, um, and I'm going by the film's plot pretty much, obviously, but um, that's in the comics too, the uh, pro registration and stuff. Uh, Tony believes that they need limitations and that they shouldn't be a private organization, and Captain America doesn't agree, so he doesn't sign the. Um, Form or whatever. So basically, Civil War, what I'm going to say about it is it was a great movie. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Um, the actual film, more so though, had to do more with um, the events after Winter, Winter Soldier. So there's a lot of Bucky and stuff involved um and we see Black Panther for the first time in live action and um he was great um Chadwick Boseman who plays him in the film uh he did a great job on the character and I can't wait to see the Black Panther movie um but we got about two more years till it's out sadly um love Sebastian Stan as uh Bucky uh He's great too. Uh, Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch, I like her too. Um, pretty much the whole cast is good, uh, as usual. Um, also, this might be a spoiler if you haven't seen it, but um, the big death in the film is actually uh, Peggy Carter. That's the funeral scene that we see. Um, Agent Carter, and um, also uh, Crossbones is not um, Crossbones is not a big part of the film, like everybody thought um, he was going to be. He was only in it for the first five ten minutes, and then he dies because um, he blows himself up. But um, so I just want to say that uh, movie was great. Uh, I would definitely watch it um, a bunch more times. I'd pay to go see it again if I could. Um, it was really good. Black Panther was great. Um, Spider-Man, we also see Spider-Man in the film, the new Spider-Man, Tom Holland. Um, and he's, ac he's actually really funny, so I'll be interested to see what they do with his uh, film next year. I don't know if I will actually go see it or if I'll wait till it's on DVD, I'll decide that after trailers and stuff are released. But, um, yeah, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, definitely recommend it to people. Uh, and there's not really much else that I want to say, but I just wanted to touch on the basic plot the film and that's what it is um i won't spoil spoil the entire movie but we also see uh, a captain america villain named baron zemo um <clears throat> if you watch the film you'll find out his part in the um whole thing uh but yeah so it's i mean we do get a big fight between captain america and uh iron man and bucky but um Again, I won't spoil that, um, because a lot of it has to do with some other things that happen in the film, um, like what Iron Man finds out about his parents and so on. But, yeah, basically that's my review for Civil War, um, and I cannot wait for the next couple Marvel movies that come out, um, within the next two years or so, um, we got, pretty much we have next year, I think we have, um, 
the new Wolverine, the last Wolverine movie, which will be Old Man Logan. And we have Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I'm excited for that one. Then we have uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, some other stuff, I believe. Uh, in 2018, we got Black Panther and I believe the first part of Avenger Avengers. Um, Infinity War, that's either 2018 or 2019, I forget. I'll have to look again. I'm probably wrong, but, um, so yeah, we got a lot coming up. Um, and my next review will probably be X-Men Apocalypse, Apocalypse, because I have seen that as well. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.